Now, Gwyneth wrote part of Everglow, didn't she? Or part of the song? Uh, the, the story that... Has, I mean, the internet is so wonderful, and uh, God bless it. It does tend to ch change a seed into a forest. Yeah. And um, there was two lines of that song which um, she very kindly gave me the idea for. It was, it was actually about her dad. Uh, we were talking about her dad who'd passed away. And, uh, you know, that's how the, that came out. And you know what is heartening, I think, for people is to see, you know, obviously you guys, you, you're not together anymore, not right. in the way you were, of course, but to see that level of closeness and that level of, uh, you know, acceptance about where you are but still being friends to that extent, that's a lovely thing. That's yeah, I'm a... very, very grateful, you know, and we have these two incredible children and, yeah, it's been a strange and amazing path, but I'm so grateful to be right here, right now. Well, yeah. Star Trek Beyond, and the exciting thing about this, I think, is uh, you're not just in it, of course, you've co-written this one. I did, I co-wrote it with Doug Jung. It was, wow. Yeah, that wow. was kind of extraordinary. You, please tell us something about it. It's set in space. <laughs> <laughs> so you were incredibly underweight, and you, and you were, I guess, using painkillers to deal with the pain of that as well. Yeah, well, I, I took painkillers because I liked them. 